These are ordinary cutting boards, which I bought for a th pack of three different sizes for 10 bucks from Target. And those were the materials we used to make our gears with. Our gears are going to hook the turbine. Here's the, the gear I made to hook to the existing turbine, and these holes will line up with the fittings that we already use on the wind turbine, if you've seen part one. And then this is a permanent magnet alternator that I bought on eBay. And this is what we're going to use for our first attempt to generate power. And I also made a gear out of the smaller cutting board to fit onto this device. So hopefully these will work to produce some electricity. And I can easily fabricate gears of different sizes to change the, the gear ratio if needed in the future. Okay, we should have a completed gear here, so I'm going to pry that out of the machine. There's a scrap piece. And there it is. Perfectly made gear. Okay, this is a gear like the one we cut out of the CNC machine a few minutes ago. And then here is a gear attached to one of our Oakley PVC fittings. And what I did is I made these uh, holes here conically shaped so that you could countersink the Phillips head screw in there. Okay, this will go in here like so. We'll connect that and hopefully it'll spin without processing like that when we center it. Okay, now I'm just eyeballing this setup. We're going to take our generator, which has been bolted to basically a scrap cutting board to help it be easily positioned on our 2x4s. We're just going to screw that thing in after positioning the gear on top of here and making sure that it meshes properly with the uh, gear from the wind turbine. Okay, we have added a fan, a fan blade to the bottom of the gear to help cool the generator. And I'm fitting it in there. We're going to have to shim it up a little because the gear is a little low, but you can see it is going to turn. Given, given enough wind.
uh, we just broke uh, 12 volts. And with the charge controller, we should be able to charge even below 12 volts. And it's even safe for pets.